What's up YouTube, Jason here, Mark McSaw, Reptiles. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're finally gonna update you on the Ultra Milk Clutch. Super, super cool stuff. Hold back, some really cool uh, combos in there. We saw the clutch cutting. Obviously, everything's all Ultra Milk. Let me show you the parents real quick first before I go too much farther into this. All right, so this is the dad. You guys have seen him a ton. This is Pharaoh, the Cinnamon Ultra Milk. He sired a bunch of clutches for us this year. Did really, really well. Got some cool plans for what we're gonna do with him this next season. Um, make some other combo stuff to hold back, but not uh, visual ultra mills this time around. But yeah, this is our dude Pharaoh. So the cinnamon makes the uh, darker parts of what would be the normal, this nice kind of rich, purpley, caramely colored and then obviously you get the nice bright alien heads and kind of the creamy colored backstripe. Whereas a normal Ultramel, a lot of the tones would be more similar, a little bit more washed out. The cinnamon definitely brings in some contrast between the backstripe and the purples, I guess you would call it, um, between there. So cinnamon Ultramel, Pharaoh. Probably been a while since you've seen this girl. Miss Cleopatra here. So obviously she is a pinstripe Ultramel, really nice female. So you can see kind of with the, the pinstripe pattern, what would be really dark on a normal pinstripe uh, is kind of light here. And then you got the pattern which turned out really dark. So it makes you wonder how the cinnamon would act with pin because it kind of inverts the colors a little bit, and we'll show you that in a few of these hatchlings. So Cleopatra, the pinstripe, ultra male female. Okay, well, we're gonna work backwards here, and hopefully this guy doesn't nag, tag me. Um, we're gonna work backwards, but there's only two different things we got here, which is really cool. The, the odds are actually really good. Um, and they're all, they're all kind of pissy this morning, but these are cinnamon, Ultramels. This is exactly the same as Pharaoh the dad. You can see as they're hatchlings, the contrast in color is exquisite. Like it's super bright. Um, they just they turned out gorgeous. Turn this guy around so he doesn't bite me. But they just turned out beautiful. They get this really nice high contrast, nice bright oranges in the saddle or in the uh, alien heads. They have that cream color uh, dorsal stripe, and then this purpling will definitely start to come in and color up more as they get older some of these are this guy here that's really noisy his oranges in the in the saddle or in the uh, alien heads is just killer so turned out really nice we ended up with two males and a female so pretty good odds there in the case of this clutch, all three of these ones are already spoken for. So thank you to our awesome customers, but just wanted to show a super, super nice combo here. Cinnamon Ultramel. On the other end of the spectrum, we hit the all gene combo, three of them, and we hit two females and a male. So we actually had a perfect sex split uh, between the, the combos here. Unfortunately, one of them is in shed, but that's okay. You can see from the others here. These are cinnamon pinstripe Ultramels. The orange on these is just insane in person. Uh, we definitely know that they're cinnamon because this color is more predominant. You saw on Cleopatra as the body color. We get more deeper, brighter oranges on the sides. You still get that purple pattern the pinstripe pattern still shows up in that purple, but the cinnamon brings in the brighter oranges and distinguishes a cream colored dorsal stripe. Whereas a traditional just pinstripe Ultramel would not have the cream dorsal stripe. It would just have the same body color uh, here as it does in the dorsal and the, uh, the purples would not be nearly as pronounced. So definitely cinnamon pinstripe Ultramel hit three of them. This girl right here, unfortunately, is in shed at the moment, but she is our holdback female. Um, 
just little cues I looked for for a holdback. If you look at the, the what you can see in the side pattern here on the tail and that, um, obviously she's in shed, but there's almost zero rain dropping. The tail pattern is super, super reduced all the way down. So I'd like to think that that could be polygenically bred to be a very striped, almost no side pattern pinstripe as compared to this one that's trying to bite me. You can see there's definitely more rain dropping, more connection from the top to bottom on the pattern. Definitely busier up front, but. So we decided to hold on to this girl. These other ones are, uh, the male is already spoken for, which let me double check which one I've got here. So the male, which is this one here that was trying to bite me, he's already spoken for. This female that I showed you in the very beginning she is still available, so if you're interested, we do have Het Ultramel uh, stuff as well that we maybe do a package deal or something, or um, you know we'll come up with something for you. But yeah, this cinnamon pinstripe Ultramel, just a killer combo. Really, really happy with the way the, these odds turned out. So there you have it, guys. Probably one of my favorite clutches of the year, in all honesty, just because. The colors are crazy. Um, it makes IDing them super easy when you use a visual recessive on both sides, which was nice. So all Ultramels, of course. Uh, like I said, a couple are still available. If you're interested in any of the stuff we've got, let me know. We are just about a week away from our final clutch of the year. Um, getting kind of antsy, honestly, because that one could have our, our black and white pie, our sumo pie in it. So really, really can really curious as to what we're going to have in there. Shout out real quick to Billy. He sent us out some really cool stickers that he saw on Instagram. So we've got the, the Billy uh, Mutation Creation Eyes Scissors. And I don't think you can see it down here. Uh, but I've got above my Don't Touch My Eggs sticker, Billy's Blank the Haters. So, just funny stuff. We are still doing the sticker door. I just gotta get the piece made that we're gonna attach to it so that I can take it with us when we move. So if you're interested, of course, send in stickers and uh, I will feature them on the door and do some shout outs with them. P.O. Box 30383, Billings, Montana, 59107. Clutch updates coming next week will likely be uh, the possible Het Lavender female, the Pied Posset Lavender female, our, our dreamsicle maker, hopefully. So I'll update you on that clutch. The clutch from Chloe's that we cut, um, the really weird normal, and that they are in the process of shedding out. Doesn't really answer any of our questions, but there's some really killer stuff in there, and they're all possible Het Clown, which is awesome. So we got a couple more clutch cup dates coming for sure, and I've got a really interesting one that I'll probably do after the uh, the Pied Het Lav female uh, that's got some interesting stuff in it that we want to talk about. So make sure you're subscribed. Hang out in the, the comments down below. Let me know what you think. Hit us up on Instagram if there's anything you're interested in. The website morphmixology.com slash available should be current. There's some new stuff that is just shed out that I'll finally get, I'll, uh, get uploaded here before too long. And of course, always on Morph Market. Until then, guys, I'll see you next week. See ya.